On the edge of real and cyberspace, there's one place you can go, and you found it! Welcome to Nightwise.com, the one and only podcast with hacks, tips, and tweaks for cross-platform geeks. Welcome to the video blog for June 28th, 2013. Hey guys and girls, welcome to the Nightwise.com video blog. My name's Nightwise, and for those of you who are new to this show, this is the weekly video blog for the Nightwise.com podcast. The Nightwise.com podcast is part of the Nightwise.com website, which is targeted towards cross-platform geeks. Cross-platform geeks, what are they? Well, whether you are Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, or, I don't know, some Solaris user, and you want to slide from operating system to operating system, we help you to get stuff done. We look for tips and tweaks and hacks to do some cross-platform computing so you can have your uh, fancy computer experiences on every operating system and you are never locked in. You basically own your technology and let that work for you instead of the other way around. The Nightwise.com uh, website has frequent articles, almost daily, uh, and we do a weekly uh, podcast. That podcast can come in an audio form or a video form, so we do uh, audio podcasts sometimes and video screencasts sometimes where we actually talk about cross-platform technology, give you tips and tweaks and how to do stuff and software tips and sometimes I write an article and I read that out loud. You, you guys uh, tend to love that very much. And once a week we bring you the news of the Nightwise.com sliders community in the weekly video blog. So this is the video blog for June 28th, 2013. And uh, it's so much that I want to talk about, so much has happened that I've actually had to write it down to uh, keep track of what's been going on. Let's start uh, by talking about last week. No video blog last week. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to do the second edition of the video blog purely because I was too busy. Uh, for those of you who followed along, and you should have uh, really been under a rock if you missed that one, we went to London to uh, cover the Samsung Premiere event where Samsung uh, launched some of their new products, uh, being the uh, Samsung Galaxy line, the Ative uh, laptop and tablet line, um, and they also had some uh, fancy cameras there, lots of cool stuff, and it was actually very, very exciting to do. Because for me, it was the first time that I really went out with a press gang. This was not a blogger event, I was actually going out with actual journalists, and they were super cool dudes. Uh, had a lot of fun, it was very hard work, to uh, cover the event, make sure that I wrote everything down, live blog the event on Facebook and Twitter, and also make sure that uh, I remembered what they told, what, what, what they were talking about, because I had to do interviews afterwards. It was a lot of fun. Um, only afterwards did I start to realize that literally everybody was there in the big hall where I was, where all of the speakers were and all of the products were. Guys like The Verge, Gizmodo and Gadget, everybody was running around there. But, you know, we got to interview the cute girls and they just focused on, on the products. If you want to know what it's all about, check out the episode. It's live on the blog and you can also download it. Go to www.nightwise.com. I want to thank fellow uh, slider and wise guy Stefan Lesage for excellent camera work. He was along for the trip and he uh, sacrificed himself to crawl behind the camera and do, uh, do the coverage while I did all the stand-ups. A lot of fun and uh, a lot of interesting products that we saw there, so that was pretty cool. I wanted to do a, a live blog on Friday, but we were in London from Thursday to Friday, rushed back, and I had a lot of editing to do for that episode. Um, it's almost like making real television. It's that intense. You have to cut and do dubs and stuff like that. Just uh, if, if you think it's simple, it's not. But it's a lot of fun to do. Now, um, looking at what's been happening in the Nightwise.com community this week for the new kids, uh, we have a sliders community. We're kind of all over the place. We have a Facebook group. We have an IRC channel. You can comment on the website. But most of the kids hang out in the Google Plus group, and that's www.nightwise.com slash Google Plus, all one word, where you will find fellow sliders, and there are about 250 of them as I'm speaking, so that group is growing rapidly. 
very active group with people posing questions, giving answers, having a, having a laugh. I'm there. Uh, that doesn't really add to the whole discussion, but hey, I have to hang out somewhere. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. In the first edition of the video blog, we actually launched uh, a call to arms for what we call the Avengers Assemble project where I need help uh, doing nightwise.com. Basically, we are looking for guest bloggers, people who want to do promotion, uh, people who want to do uh, other things for the website and for the community, and basically help make nightwise.com bigger and better and bring it to more people. Um, there was a lot of uh, response to that first call to arms, which was pretty fuzzy because I didn't actually know what I wanted and I'm starting to get there. Basically what we are looking for is people who want to help contribute content. That could be in the form of guest bloggers, you can do video, you can do audio that we can use in the podcast and the video blog and the screencast. So we're looking people for people to provide content. We are looking for people to help us with the back end because, you know, we have uh, websites to run and stuff to do. And we need people who would like to help us with promotion. Because basically, the content creation is mostly up to me uh, at the moment and there's a lot of time that goes into researching, creating, editing and publishing content. And I want to keep on doing that and focus on the content that you give. So I'm going to need some help in promoting that content and in uh, keeping the social media channels uh, open and buzzing and getting more listeners. And of course, I could really use some help with fresh content because, you know, I can't figure out everything myself. And sometimes you guys have better ideas than I do. So there have been a lot of responses. Let me, let me get my, my notes here. Um, Thor Christensen, who is a, a super cool, I think, Scandinavian dude, uh, said like, you know what, we should have a different content channel for everything that gets uh, contributed to the Nightwise.com community. So kind of like a, a different RSS feed. Um, I, saw, I, I took a look at that. That is actually a brilliant idea, but we don't have enough content for that yet. If I come to the point where I say, oh my God, I'm getting so much content that I will actually have to split it off. I will be a happy bunny. We're not there, we're not there yet, Thor. But what we are going to do is going to see how much content we get in, audio or video, and see if we can weave that into the regular episodes or we're gonna make a special user contributed episode. God knows the blabber of the blog might have to make room for user uh, contributed content. Wouldn't that be awesome? It would be much more uh, interesting than just listening to me. Uh, also, Emmett Stewart Cafe Ninja was also there in that discussion, also offered up some ideas. So we are looking for a play, we're looking for content, and we've already figured out some kind of way to slide, aha, uh -huh, get that, no pun intended, slide that content into your regular content stream. We already have some audio content coming up that's been submitted, and we might have some video content coming up, and perhaps some blogging content. Speaking of content, so what do we need? Uh, we need some guest bloggers, people who want to contribute audio, and people who want to contribute video. The question that I got, Nightwise, what do you want me to talk about? I don't know, <laughs> as long as it's relevant. If you're a slider and you think, you know, I use multiple operating systems and people who use Linux or Mac or Windows might think that this and this and this is interesting, I don't know, bing me up, uh, make a proposition, I'll say, okay, that sounds relevant, go for it. That way you don't put a lot of time and effort into content that might not be something that's completely relevant uh, to the community. So just let me know what you want to do. Uh, you can find me via email, uh, Twitter, I don't know, you can set your house on fire, I might see that. Get in touch with me, propose a, um, a piece of content and we'll talk about it and perhaps, uh, well, it's brilliant. It, it could be something that I will never be able to think of. So, you don't ask me what to do, think of something. Um, so, um, we have had already some contributions. I've got Gurion de Vries, which is impronounceable in English because he's Dutch. Uh, and uh, we all know him as McFreeze. He already submitted some great articles to the blog. He is offered to be uh, a guest blogger when he has the time and the ideas. Check out the website. He wrote a great article on bulletin boards a couple of weeks ago. Love that article, really retro. Um, we have got a cyberpunk librarian, new to the community. He's offering to do some video because he also does a video blog 
from a driving car, but it's all very safe. Um, let's see, um, Matthew McGraw was also thinking of doing some guest blogging, perhaps you'll see if he'll come up with an idea, and if you have something you want to write about, if you're a little bit too shy to do video or audio, you can always write up a piece, that's okay, we've got room on the blog and we like to hear your ideas. As I said, we need uh, guest bloggers, we need people at the back end, that's uh, covered pretty well, pretty well right now. Uh, Katie Murray is taking uh, care of the WordPress backend and writing backup scripts. Thank you, Keith. Um, Gerard Molnan, who is on holiday in England but will be back when this airs, uh, is doing the graphics. Check out uh, the Nightwise.com website, all at the top. You see these beautiful little banners. He does those every week. And he did the entire look and feel of Nightwise.com, including... My screen has fallen asleep. Let me get it. This fantastic wallpaper which you can also download via the website. So, and uh, one of the most important things that um, we are working on right now is uh, Blabber and GetFeed. Sounds cool. What is it? They are two automated scripts that will help us push content towards social media, keeping you up to date about what's going on, giving, your, giving you more content to follow along on slider tips, uh, our own articles, stuff like that. It used to be, for the people who've been around a little bit longer, um, it used to be that every two or four hours you would get a little tweet from nightwise.com, either from me personally, or either it would be a link to something that I found that was really interesting and relevant. That was actually a construction I set up with uh, Google Reader and if this then that and, and some scripts, but Google Reader, Google Reader dead. You know, July 1st, Google Reader gone. So, uh, Matthew Williams, Lord Drachenblut for uh, most of you, stepped up and said, you know what, I'll write two scripts. And he's currently working on two scripts, which are going to be open source and available to the community, that will aggregate content and post it out to social media. So the social media streams will be a little bit more active and filled with more content than just my blabbering. So that's all going on behind the scenes, a lot <laughs> already. Um, Remember uh, that the Nightwise.com group on Google Plus is going on 250 members. And for those of you who remember, when we went to 100, I did the Lick My Vista challenge, where I actually licked a Vista machine. I decided to up that challenge. If we hit 300 by July 15th, I'll sing. And I will sing on camera. Um, and I'm feeling good by Nina Simone. It's been covered by Michael Bublé. That's nice from Michael Bublé. I'll sing it. I'll actually sing a song. Those of you who have heard me sing know how bad I am. So, 300 members, July 15th. If you make it, I'll have to start rehearsing. Um, upcoming content. Uh, let's see. July 1st, we'll have uh, the article that we wrote about Samsung airing on HPR. That's Hacker Public Radio, a podcast stream with episodes from all over the place. That's all user-contributed content. It's about everything uh, related to hackerism. Uh, if you're looking for content for Nightwise.com, think Hacker Public Radio, but then for sliders. It can be weird, that's okay. Hacker Public Radio, surely something that you, you want to check out. We submitted the audio version of our article there, and you'll be able to catch that in your podcatcher on July 1st. Next Wednesday, I'll probably start recording this weekend, uh, we are going to have our next podcast episode, uh, Making Your Mac Slider Friendly. We're going to talk about um, tips and tri tricks to actually integrate your Mac with your slider's lifestyle, how to bring more Windows-y and Linux-y and iOS-y and cross-platform-y and webby stuff to your favorite Apple device without having to leave the security of OS X. That's what that episode is going to be all about, and that is coming up as well. So, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, I want to finish off by a little uh, video demonstration today. I've been asked uh, to tell a little bit more about the gear that I used to do Nightwise.com. Well, I've actually cleaned up my desk today, so I decided to, I'll swivel the camera around and I'll give you guys a little uh, presentation of what's on the table, what it is being used for, and how I use it to produce Nightwise.com. So that will actually be the interesting part of this week's video blog. So we're going to go to there, 
And we will see you uh, on the flip side uh, in our Google Plus community, in our IRC chat room, on the website, um, I don't know, on Facebook maybe. There are so many places you can get in touch with us. But um, you'll find this and more on nightwise.com, www.knighthtwise.com. Now let's take a look at the gear. So we've gotten quite a few questions from the community about the gear that we use to actually produce nightwise.com. So what I've done is I've uh, actually uh, stepped behind the camera and I've given you a little, going to give you a little overview of what's on my desk. Let's just start out with the main machine that does most of the heavy lifting for nightwise.com. This is my, um, I think it's a 2011 uh, MacBook Pro, a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, I have modified it, you can see that in one of the nightwise.com episodes, where I have actually replaced the um, spinning disk that's inside with a 265 gigabyte solid state disk, and I've recently upgraded it to uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, so that's an i5, 16 gigs of RAM, solid state drive, an extra 500 gigabyte internal spinning disk, so that's kind of like um, the heavy lifter of the whole operation. I love this machine, it's portable, it goes with me, not everywhere, but uh, to all of the major gigs that I need to do where I really need CPU power. This baby takes care of recording everything and of doing a lot of the video editing and compression. When I'm uh, at home, I hook it up to a 24 inch Dell display, got some external speakers left and right for some extra audio. And here in the corner you might notice that there's an extra webcam. Sometimes I use the onboard HD uh, camera webcam uh, or the EyeSight camera. But I've actually purchased this baby which is a Microsoft 1080p HD live cam. And it makes a fantastic uh, second camera for those shots where I need to uh, have a very simple setup but need an extra webcam. Love this little device, I've used it a lot. Speakers, Logitech speakers, quite simple, quite cheap, love those. Um, and then of course here in the corner we have the mixer. The mixer is mostly being used, it's a, I think it's a, uh, it's a Behringer, I forget the number. Um, this is actually a digital mixer, so it, it accepts both um, audio inputs, analog audio inputs as you can see here has a lot of knobs and dials to work with and it has a USB out so it can function as an extra sound card. And I use uh, the mixer mainly when I need to uh, get multiple audio sources tunneled together. For example, when I do live shows. Here in the corner is my little toy. I'm just panning underneath one of the extra lights that I have here. That is my Hercules Virtual uh, DJ RMX table which I really like. I do my mixing on that and when I have a DJ gig I use it. Uh, as you can see I've got some extra stickers on there to remind me of some of the settings and I have locked the crossfader into place because I hate crossfaders. I use this when I go out uh, playing a gig or when I do a live gig. really like this. So that's kind of the audio production and video production side uh, taken care of. Um, then we have uh, the more mobile equipment. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the famous 11-inch MacBook Air and uh, 128 gigabyte uh, SSD drive, 4 gigabytes of RAM, i5 um, MacBook Air, uh, which runs both Linux and OS X. Loved this baby on my tour to London, worked with it uh, quite a bit, uh, really like it. Uh, show notes and um, planning of the show is done on uh, the <clears throat> Mac Mini that you see over here. 64 gigabyte Mac Mini has my books, goes with me everywhere, wakes me up in the morning, goes to bed with me. When we need to get some shots done, this is our main device. It's a Nikon D3, uh, sorry, it's a Nikon D5000. Uh, really like the device too. Still learning how to use it but it's always nice to have a DSLR camera. I have two lenses for that, one standard, one zoom to make the shots. The only downside to this camera is that uh, it doesn't do HD video very well, but I've got another Nikon point and shoot that does it way better, but that one's downstairs in Diana's office because she uses it quite a bit. 
So we'll pan over a little bit and there is the microphone of microphones. This is a Zoom H2 USB microphone and I use it both for studio work and on the road because I really like using it. Um, the great thing about this uh, thing, just give me some, let, it, let me give it some more light here and I'll turn it around, is that it's not only a microphone, it's also a USB sound card. So I can use it standalone, I can hook it up to uh, either my Linux machines or my Mac and it's been my buddy, my recording buddy ever since. I don't have expensive boom arms. I, I used to, but I don't anymore. I don't have uh, Behringer mics or, or, or God knows what of uh, complicated and expensive equipment just because I want to keep it simple. And I must say that the Zoom H2 really delivers on that part. So we're going into the geeky corner here. Um, there we have um, my second screen, also a Dell 24 inch on my uh, desk. Keyboard uh, is the only uh, Microsoft keyboard that I have in the house. Uh, I absolutely love this baby. It's a wireless keyboard. And I have hooked it up to my um, IBM ThinkPad or my Lenovo ThinkPad. And that's an 11.6 inch i3 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 500 gigabyte drive. I use this to write, to blog, to experiment with. I do most of my Linuxy stuff. As you can see, it's locked for the moment. Uh, it's running a Linux Mint Debian Edition rolling release. And underneath there is my Xbox. Uh, and this is the Xbox that doesn't watch you. It does it has absolutely nothing to do with uh, the podcast. But I just have it there to raise my notebook and to play games. So. All in all, a very, very simple setup. The oldest thing in the setup is way back here. You can just see it. You can just make it out. Those are my Sennheiser headphones. I have had them since the very first day I have been podcasting. And I must say, I'm very proud that uh, right up to today, they still work. They still do what they need to do. So basically, that's the office. Not a lot. Uh, I like to keep my office clean and simple and I use a lot of the gear that's on there to actually produce the whole Nightwise.com um, uh, series and podcasts and stuff. Uh, I'm currently filming this with a Sony HD hand camera, which is quite pretty simple. I have an extra light here, as you can see, and that's about all the gear we mostly use. Here are some geeky shots of what I have hanging on the wall. Can you guess? I'm a big Star Trek fan. Uh, this is what we use to produce the whole Nightwise.com um, stuff. There are some servers downstairs, of course. Uh, massive, massive uh, Cray arrays to encode videos and stuff, but they're not important right now. So this is the gear that we use.